the rumor mills is turning. So let's talk about it. What's going on guys? We're going to talk about a lot of different topics in this video, so let's get into it. The first topic is Dreams VR is launching tomorrow with an update free to owners of Dreams. And if you don't own Dreams, you can get it with your purchase. I personally can't wait for the VR update to Dreams because Dreams in itself are a catalog of endless possibilities and now being able to play and create VR games inside of Dreams it's going to take Dreams to that next truly revolutionary level as there is no limit to creative space and creativity and you also get the same tools and limitations as the non-VR version so this is a huge game changer and anyone with a PSVR headset should be excited I know I am as a person that also owns an Oculus Quest I've been itching to get some time out of my PSVR headset picking up Iron Man playing it was a blast and it was time well spent but Dreams VR is the one that's gonna make it all worthwhile the next topic is retail stores are getting PS5 demo kiosks in, over in UK and I kind of feel bad for the employee or employees who's going to spend literally all day sanitizing and wiping the controller and couch down due to the pandemic that's amongst us. Kudos to you all, you mad lads. Azamiak confirms that the new Spider-Man Miles Morales, Morales will be, or Morales, sorry, will be fully playable in 4K with 60 FPS, which is incredible news due to the disappointment I felt when I realized the new Far Cry couldn't. So Sony clapping back at the hate and genocide of um, all the shade being thrown. Don't you know? You can you can bet their ass that their PR teams are on it, and they're trying to figure out who's out there throwing all this hate around and this salt. So, kudos for them coming out, letting y'all know that it will be 4K and 60 FPS. On Thursday, this coming Thursday, Xbox is having their main event. So, are you ready to you smell what Xbox Microsoft is cooking? They're going to hopefully show off a bunch of new tasty goodies and games. Hopefully, some newer surprises awaits us. I hope Microsoft pulls no punches because it only makes the next generation of gaming better into that new level. Can't wait, and you can bet your ass here at NGI. We will cover it with our lovely news wrap-up, so stay tuned for that on Thursday. Last thing we're going to talk about in this video is the newest rumor mill. I don't really like to talk about rumors on this channel because it's a gray area, and it, some of them don't come true. It's more faultiness, but this one looks promising. And and I could probably see this one coming to fruition. Sony State of Play is rumored to be on August 6th, soon to be confirmed by Sony themselves. What do you guys think? Is it gonna happen? Is it not gonna happen? Will they reveal the price? Will they unlock pre-orders? What will they do? I don't know, but stay tuned where we will cover it. Make sure you stay up to date on all the latest in gaming tech news and reviews. Make sure you smash that like and as always, subscribe. God bless and peace. Also, P.S. Let me know in the comments below. I do read every comment and sometimes I respond. So if you want to get in touch with me, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know. If you want to show some support. Thank you for all the ones that have been leaving nice supporting comments. I do appreciate all the support and love. You guys rock. I'm out of here. Peace.